All right, Liv Hela, welcome to uh, the Theatre Cafe webinar series, and welcome also to Michael Sharona, who will be interpreting today. Uh, Liv Hela, you are a Norwegian playwright. Uh, you started as an actress uh, and moved into playwriting uh, after a while. Um, and you've written for audiences of different ages, uh, but also for young audiences. Uh, do you want to start just by telling us about a little bit about your work for young audiences? Ja, um, jag har skrivit um, jag tänkte över nu, jag har skrivit fem stycker uh, för uh, ungdom och då tänker jag från 12 och 13 och uppåt. Mm -hmm. I've written five plays for I've just recently counted for youth from the age group of about 12 and upwards. Och så har jag skrivit två uh, hela åtton stycker för barn och då kan man väl tänka sig att det är er från omtrent 4 och uppåt. And two full length plays for kids uh, of about an age of 4 and upwards. Mm. Uh, these plays were they produced by uh, major theaters or independent theater companies? Lite ulikt uh, disse to uh, for mindre barn. De, uh, det ene blev satt upp uh, på en, uh, en institusjonsteater i Bergen. Uh, på mellomstore scenen der, en forholdsvis stor, stor scene. Um, det andre barnestykket blev spilt i et uh, svært psykisk hus i Frogneparken av uh, andre klasse på uh, teaterskolen som gjør dette hvert år, spiller for barn i parken. That uh, actually varies a bit. The first children's play was produced at an institutional theater in Bergen, in Norway, uh, at the uh, mid-range size stage. And the second play was put on in a big circus tent in Frogneparken in Oslo by the second year students at the National Acting Academy of Oslo. Mm. Mens uh, disse stykkene som jeg har skrevet for ungdom, de uh, uh, har uh, for så vidt blitt, uh, de fleste blitt uh, produsert av um, institusjoner, noe som samarbeidsproduksjoner uh, Norge og Tyskland, um, og uh, et uh, uavhengig, uh, initiert av en skuespiller. Og um, jeg har skrevet et stykke for Connections, eller DUS, som det heter i Norge. Um, ja. They've been produced in a, a range of varieties, uh, one in a collaboration between Norway and Germany, uh, one for Zeus, or collaborations, as it's called in English. Um, what was the third one? Sorry. Uh, yeah. Uh, independent yeah, but, series. Well, yeah, lit, uh, it's, it's, it was an independent series uh, initiated by one actor. Yeah. Mm. Mm. But you've mainly, so you, you work both with independent companies, and but mainly with, with institutions uh, in your work. Uh, yeah. Det må jeg vel kunne si, ja. Mm. That's correct, yeah. Mm. When you are writing for uh, young audiences, do you have any particular strategies or a particular approach to, to writing for this age group? Eh, jeg begynner med å si at jeg er ikke så veldig glad i eh, begrepet barn og unge. Mm -hmm. I want to start with saying that I'm not particularly fond of the expression kids and youth or young young people. Eh, barn er noe veldig annet enn uh, ungdom. Kids uh, are something very different from teenagers or youth. Mm. Og jeg har nok uh, skrevet uh, veldig ulike typer stykker for uh, barn og for ungdom. And I've uh, uh, most likely or probably written very different pieces for either kids or teenagers or youth. Og det har jeg nok gjort litt instinktivt, uh, men um, ut ifra situasjonen, livssituasjonen, disse aldersgruppene befinner seg i. And I've done this instinctively based on the life situation of the either kids or youth, the target audience. Barn upplever uh, ting för första gång um, och upplever nog uh, en stor grad av frihet i uh, sin liv tror jag för det att de inte helt har upplevt uh, eller uh, ja känt på stängslarna ändå 
uh, kids uh, experience things for the first time in their life and uh, in relation to that experience a freedom or uh, the sensation of freedom um, yeah mens uh, ungdom uh, begynner å kjenne på den friheten som ligger foran dem men samtidig er de uh, veldig låst i at de uh, ikke bestemmer nesten noe i sin egne liv de bestemmer ikke skole ikke hvem de skal være sammen med, ikke hva de skal jobbe med, ikke når på dagen de skal gjøre disse tingene. But teenagers, on the other hand, um, still feel that freedom, yet they are bound to the fact that um, of what's ahead of them in the situation they're in, um, where they don't have full responsibility or full freedom in daily issues like what schools to attend, the simple things, what to do in everyday life. Så so at uh, uh, alle de stykkene som jeg har skrevet for ungdom har handlet veldig direkte om deres liv, eh, hvor jeg ikke egentlig sier at det foregår i en veldig en fremmedartet verden for dem, men går in i deres eh, daglige liv på en eller annen måte. So all the plays I've written for teenagers and youth are very much set in their daily, uh, daily life situation. I don't create a scenario or a setting to fit it in, because they are in that setting that we're, I'm writing about. Fordi at jeg jeg tror dette er, eller i hvert fall instinktivt har jeg uh, følt at det er den enkleste, mest direkte måten å kommunisere med dem. Because I uh, instinctively believe this is the most direct way of communicating with them. Mens uh, for uh, de to stykkene jeg har skrevet for uh, mindre barn, så har jeg begge stykkene, uh, er det både mennesker og dyr. I det ene stykket foregår nesten hele stykket under vann. Så det er fisker som er karakterene i stykket, og en jente som da dukker ned. Men, men det er en, en slags, det er en helt mye mer fantasiverden da. Whereas in the two plays I've written for young kids or kids, they're set in a um, more wider world. They're animals. One of them is set underwater. There are more elements um, put into their reality or their setting. Um, og det tenker jeg handler litt om det, altså at de har en, et uh, sinn som er veldig åpent for uh, en veldig lekende verden, mens uh, tenåringer er uh, veldig ute på en slags identitets, uh, inn i en identitetsskapning. Sånn at uh, jeg har prøvd å skrive stykker som handler om uh, valg og identitet. Mm. And I I do this or I've done this because kids seem to have a more wider imagination, a mindset of exploring whereas teenagers or youth um are more set in an identity, a search for identity or an identity exploration uh and themes around that. 